At this point, I'd like to introduce Kyle Forster, Rob Sherwood, and Vivek Shaw. I guess. Hi, I'm Rob Sherwood, and I work at Facebook on the FBOSS project. Hi, I'm Vivek. I lead the Switch platform at Google. And I'm Kyle Forster, one of the founders of Big Switch. We believe that networking is in a renaissance. It's being led by the teams at Google, the teams at Facebook, and the OCP members here in this room not by the traditional networking vendors. At Big Switch, we've always had one leg in the hyperscale community and one leg in the enterprise. We observe what we call the hyperscale innovation cycle for networking. The large hyperscale operators create an invention for our industry in the form of best practice designs, in the form of open source software projects. These come out in the at scale community. That's the focus of most of the people in this room. These inventions then get packaged up as products for the broader enterprise community sold by vendors. If we look at the popularization of leaf spine clauses, if we look at their evolution to SDN fabrics, uh, if we look at the disaggregation of networking hardware and software, each of these came from the hyperscale community and took a five, six year journey to become half billion dollar enterprise markets. What gets me excited about the demos that you're going to see today is that I feel like this is a glimpse into where the networking industry is going. With this new renaissance in networking, companies like ours up here can actually innovate up and down the stack, including in how they run the network itself. For example, if you look at work that we're doing at Facebook, we're creating new routing protocols, like the new OpenR initiative that we just launched, and we're experimenting with hybrid notions of centralized configuration with decentralized enforcement. If you look at companies like Big Switch, they're creating 100% open source, lease spine cloth fabrics using BGP, meant for at-scale customers. And if you look at the announcements that Google have made just recently, they're producing open source projects like Strata with SDN control and uh, P4 configuration. And if you step back, you might say, these are all very different. Do they really have anything in common? But thanks to the Open Compute project and initiatives like Open Network Linux, we actually are all building on the same common open source hardware and open source software. If you aren't familiar with Open Network Linux, Open Network Linux is a Linux distribution specifically made for data center switches. That is, it provides the underlying low-level drivers and firmware for over 60 different switches and provides an abstraction so that we can actually focus on this higher level layer and not necessarily worry about the low-level drivers and I2C muxes. All of this work is thanks to the OCP networking track. Open Network Linux is one of OCP's largest open source software projects. There are over 30 different organizations that have contributed code. And most of the switch hardware running Open Network Linux today is OCP networking hardware. Without the OCP networking track, this collaboration wouldn't exist. It's not only the hyperscale community that's getting the benefit of this joint work. If we look at the advantages that we're seeing from embedding ONL into commercial products. We see OCP networking technologies running in massive scale NFV networks, in financial services networks, in IoT networks, in autonomous vehicle networks, and in some of the most secure private clouds in the industry today. OCP networking technologies, under this rubric of open for business, are already being run in some of the industry's most mission critical networks. Just back to the demo, when we first open sourced Open Network Linux back in 2015, the, the target really was a, a small group of hyperscale operators that were capable of writing their own protocol stacks, capable of writing their own forwarding agents. I guess on this front, we can declare success. <laughs> the, uh, 
what we're going to show today is something new. This is work in progress on ONL infrastructure to tie higher level Linux software packages that already exist broadly in the open source community and run them on the very, very high powered OCP networking hardware. This is a big step for ONL because it opens the aperture from the hyperscale community to the group of organizations that are well represented in this room today. It's an exciting moment. At Google, we envision the next generation of RSTN switches to be fast, easy to program, manage, and configure. It needs to provide a ASIC and system level abstraction. We are the founding members of a recently announced P4 based open source initiative called Statum. And we strongly believe Open Network Linux has a big role to play in Statum. And those two combined will enable white box switch vendors to manufacture switches which can be easily deployed in data centers such as Google's. We are working with Big Switch Network to further enhance Open Network Linux and are committed to open source source changes. Now let's look at the demos. What you're seeing here is a demo of all three of our software running on Open Network Linux. The critical thing about Open Network Linux is it abstracts away the hardware level details specific to each platform. So for example, you don't have to worry about which direction your fan's running. And that lets us focus on things we do care about. For example, we prefer to generate all of our configuration from a centralized place and deploy it. We also like to have a thrift-based RPC protocol so we can decouple the low-level protocol, low-level packet forwarding from the above routing protocols. And of course, this all runs at full line rate. On our side, we're tying higher level Linux software packages, in this case, FRR, to ONL as an operating system, and then down to OCP hardware. With FRR, we get a very traditional networking CLI. We also get a fully open source BGP stack, so that adding a BGP route feels like traditional networking, yet manage the box feels like managing Linux. Uh, and of course, by running on OCP hardware, we're getting full line rate traffic. The Google video, <clears throat> which you'll just see in a moment, this is captured on a Google production host connected via an ONL-based white box switch, which in turn is controlled by a P4-based SDN controller. The SDN controller programs the routes by injecting a P4 write request. On the device side, the forwarding agent interprets the P4 program and configures the underlying ASIC. And now the traffic will start to flow. In the interest of time, we have blown through a lot of interesting technical details. If you are interested in learning more, please join us for our engineering breakout session tomorrow at 1 PM. Thank you. <laughs>